Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. Today I want to answer a question that I see pop up a lot on the forums and Facebook groups and stuff like that, where people want to use faders to control their sends. Now the obvious answer is right here. You can open your IO routing and then there's faders here. But apparently people don't like that for some reason. So let's look at a few alternatives. There is MPL send fader and you can enable this and then whenever I click on any track I get a little fader here and I can adjust my settings like that. So another cool thing you can do with this script is using send fader set volume and I can assign a fader to this and now I can use my fader to move this around then if I go to another track I can just move that one around and dial in my levels like that. Problem with this is that I can't really select multiple tracks and see them. It will only work for one selected track. However I think people are overlooking a very simple solution if you really want to to use just track faders to control your sense, create tracks, it's simple as that. What I can do, for example, is I have a drum reverb down here. So instead of sending from all of my drum tracks to that, and you can do this by holding shift and dragging, and now they all will have a send going to that track, create new tracks that go under this. I'm gonna select all these tracks, and I have this little custom action. I'll cover what this custom action does in the blog, but basically it creates duplicates of all these tracks. They will have the same name and same color as whatever track we copied, but they won't have any sends and they won't have any plugins or items on them. Then I can just drag all of these and put them under my drum verb track. So now they're all children of my drum verb track. The audio from all of these is being routed to my drum reverb and my drum reverb is being routed to my drums bus. Next, I'm gonna open my routing matrix. What I wanna do is send from my drums to my drum sense. So this is my kick and this is the other kick. So I'm just gonna draw a line like this. And now each of these tracks is sending to the corresponding child. So my kick to kick, snare top to snare top, etc. Now the way this makes sense to me is to make all of these pre-fader sends so that they are independent of whatever we end up doing to these tracks if I turn one down or something like that. We don't want that to affect the balance of our reverb. So they are all pre-fader. And now with these tracks zeroed out, they're gonna be sending the entire signal from their corresponding track to the reverb. And I can, for example, hide these from my MCP. I don't really need to see them, but when it comes time to dialing in my reverb, all I gotta do is click on this. And now I have these fade to control my send level. And that's it, Bob's your uncle, these are your sends. And just a bonus tip, the routing matrix makes routing stuff like this pretty easy. I can just drag a line, but you can't change the send types from here, which is kind of lame. You gotta click on each one of them and change them from here manually. So when I wanna make a bunch of pre-fader sends, what I do instead is I go to my preferences, project, track, send default, and then I change the default mode from here. So I wanted to make a bunch of pre-fader sends, so I set it to that. And then I come here, I make my sends, and you can alt click to delete them if you make a mistake and when I'm done I can come back and change the default back to whatever it used to be. At least in the routing matrix you can see the type so if this bar is all the way down that means that's a post fader. If it looks like an upside down middle finger to you that's a pre fader. If it's pre effects the leftmost bar would be raised. As far as I know there's not a script that does this like toggling between a bunch of sends send types but that would be really useful if any script makers watch my videos for some reason. That's one I'd love to see. Now because because these tracks are just sends, they won't have any plugins on them. They will probably not have any sends and stuff like that. What I can do is select all of them and then while holding alt, I can just drag this up and I'll get a full length fader for my sense that I can control from here that I don't see from here. So my reverb is just one track in my range view and I get these faders to play with. Now you may be saying at this point, hey, this is way too involved. What's wrong with this? And it's like, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this setup right here. And I'm pretty happy every once in a while to use send fader from MPL. But people be asking for stuff like this and I be delivering because I just like to help folks out. <laughs> So that's it for today. If you want to check out the custom action and download it, and for more info that I end up cutting out of this video, please check out the blog post. I'll go through a lot more detail. And if you find that I talk too fast, the blog will have everything you need. And if you like the work I do, please donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link of that will be in the description. Thanks to all our previous donors. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.